Children born with eye birth defects usually go undetected by their parents. Dr. Mark Borchert discusses the more common eye birth defects that he diagnoses and manages. Most birth defects are not obvious in the front of the eye. Most of them are in the back of the eye where it doesn't become apparent that there's a problem until it's recognized that the child doesn't see. And then of course if it's only in one eye, the child sees well with the other eye and so that gets detected even later, um, usually when the child is closer to school age. The most common one is optic nerve hypoplasia, and we are a, a center of excellence for the care of optic nerve hypoplasia. I think we probably are referred more patients with optic nerve hypoplasia than any other center in the world, certainly in the United States. And what it is is a failure of formation of the optic nerve, which is the cable that connects the eye to the brain. It's like the cable that connects the video camera to the TV set. We see with our brains, not with our eyes. The, the, the uh, eyes are basically a video camera. And if the cable it has problems with it, you won't see well, no matter how well you focus the camera, you're not gonna see well. And that's basically it, you'll get a blurred picture. Many times what has happened is I've diagnosed a child with optic nerve hypoplasia at a very young age, in infancy, Parents came in not knowing what was wrong with the eyes, maybe the eyes were shaking a little bit, the child wasn't smiling yet, and the child was two and a half months old, and they've seen their other children always smiling by that age, and so they bring the child in. Diagnose optic nerve hypoplasia, and then unfortunately, there's very little I can do to help their vision. But at the same time, I detect that they have hypothyroidism that was totally missed. Hypothyroidism occurs in 30% of children with optic nerve hypoplasia it accounts for more than 30% of the mental retardation that some, many of these kids have. You can totally prevent the mental retardation in more than 30% of these kids if you pick up the hypothyroidism at a very young age and treat it at a very young age, I mean in infancy. And so picking that up in a one or two month old child, even though no, ultimately nobody sees the difference, I know that I have changed the life of that child, that I have prevented a very serious complication that will impact that family much greater than just the vision loss. You take a child who's blinded with mental retardation, it has a much bigger impact than a child with normal mental function. And so that has happened to me many times. And even though it's kind of something that nobody really appreciates because they never developed the mental retardation, I know that I made a difference and I can feel good about that.